Hey guys, I'm James Pearson, WJP005, and today I'm going to assemble my Bridgeport 13B engine. I've got all the parts laid out on my bench, ready to assemble. Everything has been cleaned, checked, and thoroughly inspected. And now I'm ready to assemble the engine. Apex seals are rotary aviation super seals, two mil varieties. The housings have been bridge ported on the secondary only. The intermediate housing or the primary ports have been mild ported. And the rotor housings have been fly cut, which is what you see here and the exhaust obviously has been significantly ported. It's called a bridge port because this little bridge is left here for the corner seal to run over the port. This eyebrow cutout is additional to the factory port which looks something like this but this has also been opened and enlarged and the whole port has been opened on the intake and smoothed out as a result of the bridge and the increase in the size of this opening it alters the port timing and as the rotor comes around there's a brief period where the intake and the exhaust are both open which gives it the characteristic brap 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 idle which tells you it's a bridge port the porting is done to increase airflow, similar to porting and polishing a conventional cylinder head and around the to increase airflow around the valves. Um, this increases the airflow into the rotors, which more air gives you a bigger bang and more power. The beauty of a hoist is you end up with double the work area in that particular bay. So let's get on with the assembly.
So the second rotor's just been put into position and we're nearly done. So that pretty much covers the long block assembly. I've obviously still got to set the end float, put on the counterweight, oil pump, drive and gear, front cover and sump, etc. But that's pretty much all there is to a rotary engine. They're very simple, but pretty impressive things. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Thank you.